Hey guys, Jonathan Stringer here coming to you again for your Friday motivation video. Okay, I am stoked about tonight's video. As you can see, you owe it to yourself to keep fighting. All right, guys, I want you to think about a question. Just We want you to think about it, ponder it for just a moment, okay? What goal are you chasing? What what dream are you, are you shooting for? What's your ambition? What What is... What drives you? What wakes you up in the morning? Whenever you, whenever that alarm clock goes off, what gets you out of bed? I want you guys to think about that. Okay, whatever it is, maybe write it down, put it in your phone, log it somewhere in your mind. Really, I think putting it in your mind is kind of iffy. I forget stuff all the time. I'm like, oh, I'll remember that. Mm, I don't remember it. Write it down, honestly. Whatever it is, whatever drives you, whatever is important to you guys, whatever goals you're going after. And this can be, guys, I, this is not a not necessarily a financial goal. This can be a family goal. This can be a career goal. This can be an impact goal. You wanna help people. You wanna bring awareness to a certain situation. Whatever it is, I want you to think, what is that single thing that just drives you every single day, okay? Whatever it is, I just want you to think about it right now. And I got some harsh news for you. I'm going to prep you for it. You're going to hit a roadblock along your way. You are going to hit some type of issue, some type of hardship, some type of, of just massive roadblock. And it's going to get in your way. And I don't... I, I don't mean that to be mean. I don't mean that to be negative. I don't mean that to discourage you. I want you to know. I want you to know that as you're going towards whatever your goal is, okay, whatever you're ambitious about, you can get there, but there's going to be a roadblock. We are always in three, one of three stages, guys. We're always there. Same with all the people around us. We are either heading to a storm, we are either in a storm, or we're just leaving a storm. So whatever you're ambitious about, whatever goal you're sh you're shooting for, guys, you're going through one of those three stages. Okay, right now you may be like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna have an amazing family at home, and all of a sudden there's a lot of fights going on. All of a sudden there's a lot of issues at home. Okay, maybe you want to build a business, and you just got done fighting with. Maybe it's the bank. You were trying to get a loan so that way you go buy the office space. Okay, you were trying to get a loan so that you go buy product, and you had to fight with the bank just to be able to get that. You just were leaving a storm. Okay, and if you're not in either, maybe you haven't, you know, had a storm for a while, and maybe you're not in a storm right now. That means you're heading towards a storm. That's not a bad thing either. That is phenomenal news for you because now you know it's coming. You know that it's coming. Yeah, that, guys, that's some of the best news. Whenever I heard that phrase, because that's that's not something I came up with, guys, I'll be honest, but whenever I heard that phrase, those three sentences together, those three stages of life, it opened my mind because we are always chasing something. We're always driven towards something. And then all of a sudden, it gets something gets in our way. There's a roadblock. Okay? Somebody throws a, a stick in our spoke, so to speak. There is some issue. The engine dies in our car. Whatever it is. And it's going to happen. But whenever we know that it's happening, we know it's part of the process. We know that if I can just get through this moment, through this one hardship, I'll be out. I'll be good. Okay, I, I, And I'm not saying you'll be good for the rest of your life but I'm saying you'll be good for a little bit. Guys, life, life will try you. Life will test you every single time it gets the chance. And the thing is about life, if you let it push you around, if you let it just kick you down and keep you there, it's going to come back again and again and again. And it will not let up. It will be relentless. But the thing is, whenever you go to life and you say, hey, guess what? I know who I am. I know what I'm going after. I'm not letting you get in the way. And you knock life one good time right between the eyes. You knock life right on the jaw and you say, no, this is my dream. This is my goal. This is what I'm going after. This is what I'm passionate for. When you do that, 
life takes a step back and says, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I didn't realize that, uh, that you really had it in you. And life gives you a break. It cuts you some slack for a little bit. It doesn't mean that it's not going to come back in a different way and try to test you there. But life is just looking to see if you're willing to fight back, if you're willing to hit back. And when you're willing to fight, light opportunities open up. Things begin to click for you. All of a sudden, everything just starts falling into place. It is, it's unbelievable, guys, what can happen when we put ourselves in that right mindset, where we understand the importance of fighting back. And you owe it to yourself to keep fighting. Guys, we all know that scene from Facing the Giants, okay? Coach is up there. He's talking to the team. They're just at practice, okay? And... He's talking to the team and everything, and all of a sudden they start making some smart remarks about how they're not going to win the game. And one guy in particular, all right, I'm pretty sure he was the linebacker. If I can remember correctly, he was the linebacker. And coach, he says, Brock, it's like, you don't, you written off the game? Is it a loss to you? And he says, well, if I knew that we could win, if it was a possibility, then, then I wouldn't have write it off. It wouldn't be just something that's set in my mind. And so the coach stands there for a moment. He's like, okay. And so he pulls, he says, Brock, come here. And he grabs this other kid named Jeremy, okay? A really tiny kid. Um, I mean, probably, I, he says his, his weight. I forget. It's something funny, though, especially for him being on the football team, okay? He brings him over and he says, hey, I want you to do the death crawl, okay? And, and Brock's sitting there. He's a big, tough guy. He's like, I can do that, 30 pounds or 30 yards, no problem. Coach says, I want you to do it for 50 yards, he says, okay, I can do that with nobody on my back. And he says, I want you to do it with Jeremy on your back. He's, he, he's, coach starts stacking these obstacles against him, like life is going to do to you. He says, I want you to do that with Jeremy on your back. And he says, okay. He says, now I, I need you to promise me something, though. He says, I know you can do that. He says, but if you can't, if you can't, I want you to just promise me that you will do the best that you can. I want you to try your hardest. Give it all to me, okay? Let me see what your best is. And Brock says, okay, I promise. So coach blindfolds him, says, I want you to do it blindfolded. Okay, Brock gets down, Jeremy gets on his back, and he starts death crawling, okay? He's going, and at first, obviously, like with anything, I mean, it's a little uncomfortable, but it's not hard. He starts getting a little further, a little further, and it starts getting harder. His muscles start getting tired. He starts screaming in pain, and I mean, he's sitting there and he's holding it in his mind. But all of a sudden, he starts to grunt, and he's he's starting to he's feeling it. He's feeling it. He's crawling further and further. And coach is saying, "You're almost there. You're almost there. Come on, come on." And he starts pulling him further and further with him, and he starts saying, "Let's go, just a little bit further. You're almost there." You know, and at first, the team's watching. The football team, they're watching. And they're saying, "Wow, he's doing it. He's doing it." And all of a sudden, you see their faces, they change. And they start, the kids start standing up. They start watching. They're like, whoa, whoa, what's going on? And, and coach is saying, come on, just a few more yards, just a few more yards. He starts pushing them. And Brock is, I mean, he's, uh, his muscles are on fire. Everything hurts. It's burning. He's telling coach, I can't, I can't go any further. And he says, you promised me you'd give it your all. You promised me that you would try your hardest and not leave anything in the tank. And so he starts crawling further and further. And finally, as he's going, he all of a sudden, he just can't go any further. He's inching ever so slightly. And all of a sudden, he just collapses. He says, I can't do it. I can't go anymore. And coach says, great, take off your blindfold. And he takes off his blindfold. And he had gone all the way to the end zone. Coach had asked him to go 50 yards and in his mind, he said, I can do that. I, I can do that. I'll give you my best, coach. I'll make it 50 yards. But when he put himself on the line, when he promised to give, him, give all that he had within him, whenever he told himself that I'm not quitting on myself, I'm giving it my all because I promised. And he went after it. And he had coach sitting there pulling him just a little bit further, just a little bit further, encouraging him. He got all the way. He got double what he thought he could do. He went double what he even imagined in his mind was possible. He thought he could go 50 with nobody on his back. So he was kind of worried with somebody on his back. But he made 100 yards 
with someone on his back when he gave it his all. Whatever goal you're going after, I know you have it within yourself. You need to stand in front of the mirror. You need to look yourself in the eye and you need to say, <clears throat> I have what it takes. I know what I'm going after and I promise myself that I'm giving everything I can. I'm giving 120%. I'm going out there. I'm going to be extraordinary. Whatever my goal is, I'll make it happen. And you don't leave yourself any room for excuses. Put the blindfold on. Tell yourself just a little bit further, just a little bit further. And as you do that, as you keep pushing yourself, just a little bit further at a time, all of a sudden you're going to take that blindfold off. All of a sudden you're going to look up and you're going to say, wow, I'm further along than I ever imagined I could possibly be. When you push out all of all the negatives, all the extra, the everything peripheral, okay, all the outside noises, okay, all that just distractions, you push it out, push it out of your life, and you just focus on your goal and you go towards it. You promise yourself that you're gonna do your best, you end up in places you never dreamed you could be. And I know it's possible, whatever your goal is, that you have it within yourself to go out there and achieve it. You have it within yourself to be extraordinary. Because being extraordinary is just a little bit extra effort from being ordinary. Because that's all it takes, just a little bit extra. Just a little bit extra. And you owe it to yourself to give that extra, to keep fighting. You owe it to yourself to keep your goal in your sights. And to not let anything distract you. Not let anything hold you back from accomplishing your goal. Guys, thank you for joining me tonight. I hope that this was somehow impactful for you. Go out and use this. Use it to fuel your passion. Use it to fuel your drive. Go out and accomplish your goals. I want you to be successful in whatever aspect of life it is. Okay? I, I really do, guys. I hope you loved it. Thank you again for being with me tonight. Have a wonderful night, guys.